This is TK Coleman, and you're tuning in to another episode of TK's Two Cents. My friends, there is a wide, wide world beyond critics and influencers, and I want you to know about it. Let's talk about it. Tweet number one. If no one has a problem with what you're doing, are you even doing it? So many people hold themselves back from following their dreams, pursuing their goals, trying something new, fighting for a cause they believe in, venturing out and taking a risk, merely because of the existence of people that have problems with what they want to do. They take other people's discomfort or other people's disagreement as some sort of cosmic sign that there must be something wrong with me. There must be something wrong with what I want to do. I'd like you to set yourself free. I'd like to invite you to liberate yourself with the following understanding that to exist is to be in a state of controversy relative to someone somewhere. If you think you can find an example of any person out there who isn't controversial to someone out there, you just haven't been around enough. You just haven't interacted with and engaged enough people. You are never going to find an area of interest. You are never going to find a belief system or a goal that you can pursue that is so safe, so secure, that it immunizes you from criticism. No matter what you do, you're going to be criticized, so you might as well prioritize the things that allow you to look yourself in the mirror and say, I am proud with the way that I have lived my life. It is confirmation that you're shaking things up. It is confirmation that you are alive when people have a problem with what you do. Now, just because someone has a problem with what you do doesn't mean that what you do is right. It may be the case that people have a problem with what you do because what you're doing is wrong. But the mere fact that someone has a problem with what you do tells you nothing in either direction about the rightness or the wrongness of what you do. You must determine vice or virtue not by other people and what they have a problem with, but by looking within and basing your priorities on first principles. You've got to listen to your conscience. You've got to listen to your convictions. And you've got to think critically about what you do and about how well what you do lines up with those things. People, they're going to come and go. And they're going to have problems depending on what day of the week it is, what kind of mood they're in, what's going on social media and so on. And you can't base your life around that or you will be in a constant state of shifting back and forth trying to please other people. Don't take other people so personally. Anyone that's ever doing something that's worth doing is going to face criticism. You won't be the exception. It's a badge of honor. Wear it like a badge of honor. Let's go to tweet number two. There are successful and saintly people who are not on social media. There are wealthy people in this world who spend zero time showcasing their wealth on Instagram. There are popular people in this world who don't have a TikTok account and therefore who do not have a lot of TikTok followers. There are powerful and influential people in this world who feel no need to flex their power and influence on Twitter or any other social media site. There is a vast world of possibility, a vast world of power, a vast world of prosperity that is not even captured on social media. Why does that matter? It matters because if your world is social media and everyone seems to be politically indoctrinated in a certain way, then you will think the whole world is politically indoctrinated in a certain way. If everyone on social media is mad at something and your world is social media, you will think the whole world is mad at something. One of the easiest ways to allow yourself to be manipulated is to allow the realities that are being mediated to you through the the telescreen to become your entire world. Step away from the screen, step outside into the light of the sun, breathe some fresh air, and connect with real people in the real world and understand that reality is far more nuanced than what's trending on social media. There's a lot more hope in this world. There's a lot more positivity in this world. There's a lot more love for freedom in this world than what you might see on social media. But you can't allow a single platform 
to become your entire world. Because if a platform becomes your entire world, then your world becomes too small for the greatness that you need to be inspired to create. That's the world beyond critics and influencers. It's a big one. Be a part of it. It's such a wonderful world. Hey, everyone, if you're listening to me on YouTube, be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe. If you're listening on the podcast, be sure to like and subscribe. And wherever you are, please comment on something you might like to hear me talk about in the future. Please comment on your own thoughts and please feel free to share these riffs and rants with a family member or friend that you think might benefit from hearing what I'm talking about here on TK's Two Cents. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. See you next time.